Okay. All right, we got problems 8 through 15. We're going to try to get on this one page. We got it. Uh, let's see how well we can do it. Let's do this. 8. Is, the, is this graph a function? It, does x come up twice? So I can actually do what's called the vertical line test, and I can see that no matter what, x doesn't come up twice, right? So, so uh, yes, and x does not come up twice. Or there's no value for x. There's no two values for x. Does that make sense? Yes, what? There's no two values for x. X only comes up once. Okay, so yes, because there's no two values for x. Yeah. All right. Next, find f of 2. Okay? Find f of 2. That means here. That means right here. When x is 2, what is, what is it equal? Undefined. F of 2, oops, sorry, f of 2 is equal to undefined. There's nothing there. That was my point. There's nothing there. Okay? So then find f of negative 2. So right here, what is x? X is negative 2, but what is Y? Or 3. No? Negative 2. No? No, it's 0. 0. I know, see? Like, you right? Right. <laughs> y is 0, right? It's the origin, 0. The next one is negative the way, the way she said it? No. <laughs> okay? The next one. What is F of 5, right? Because that's what you're doing. 2 plus 3 is 5. So what is f of 5? 5, well, that's right here, right? So what is it? Does Rose have to say it again? Okay. Now comes the hard one. Find the domain in range. All right, so this one. Remember, the domain, okay, such that, x, such that. Now, I've got to go through and do a lot of stuff on this. I'm just going to put in a parenthesis because there's a lot of different stuff. First of all, X is right here, right? It goes from this to this. So X goes from negative 5 to 1. And it's less than and it's equal to. And it's greater than and it's equal to. Okay? But what else is it? Well, there's a 2. We're looking at here. X is 2. Right? 2 is on the back end of it. The front end of it is 5. Okay? So it's equal to 5. If we look at that, that's a solid dot, right? So it's equal to or less than. But is it equal to 2? No. No. So it's just greater than. That's it. Okay? And that's that's your domain. Okay? Now to do the range. Question? And range is next to Range. Such that Y. And so we want to look, since we have two pieces for X, we're probably going to have two pieces for, for, for Y. Okay? So what's the highest portion of Y? Well, in this case, we don't have two pieces for, for Y. So we only need little pieces. If we look at Y, look. All right? Y goes from here to here. Does that make sense? So... And it's everything in between there, right? There's a Y for everything in between there. So technically, all I have to do is put in this low value, which is negative 2, this high value, which is 4, right? Does it equal 4? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then it's less than it, right? And does it equal negative 2? Yeah. Yes. And it's greater than it, right? And that's it. And that is your 
your domain and range. Okay? Okay, the next part. Is this a function? Well, you look and see if the x has come up twice. This is not the same, not the same, not the same. Oh, these are the same. This is not a function. Okay? Is this the same? 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 None of those are the same, right? So, this is a function. Okay? Now for this domain and range. All they're asking you for is the domain. What can x not be? 2. 2. The bottom. x minus 2 cannot equal 0. x cannot equal 2. Bro, that, that confused the heck out of us when we were doing boards that day. It was so annoying. Wait, so easy. Wait, wait, wait. Can you repeat the whole thing? The whole question? For yeah. Week? For 15. For 15? Yeah. yeah. Okay. For all 15, all, all we worry about... 13 through 15. I'm 13 through 15? Yeah. Okay. So for 13, right, does x come up twice? There are two values for x right here. 3 and 3 are the same, right? Yeah. So that means it's not a function. Okay? For 14, there is no x that's the same. 5 is different than negative 5. Negative 6 is different than 6. And 1 is different than all of that. So there's no x that comes up the same. That means that it's a function. Okay? So for, for 14, it is a function. Okay? Now for 15, there has a, if they give you x minus 5 divided by x minus 2. The bottom, this, cannot equal zero. The bottom can't go to zero, or, or the equation blows up. So that means x cannot equal two, right? Because if it were two, then that would be zero, and the equation would blow up. So that is your domain. x cannot equal two. Ooh, that's okay. for 14. And that's, that's for 15. Is that better, Eric? Okay. Good? We all good?